destination, which is 10 minutes with the car and with the bus, one more scooter, 5 minutes. And then with the bus, it's probably like maybe 10 minutes, not even, so like 15 minutes on the bus, which is fantastic. Um, the, the only kind of like downside is I have to be so careful with the police because here's the thing in the Netherlands, which in London they've given free, I'm not sure if through or England, but like in London they've given it through there. Germany, Belgium and France, they've given it through that you are allowed to drive E-steps. Only ones that are safe, obviously, but that makes quite a lot of sense. I don't know if helmets are mandatory in London. I don't know, but the catch is in the Netherlands here. Us people, regular people, we, we don't get why these E-steps are not legal. At least the ones that are very wide known, for, for example nine but by segway they are all not legal unless you've got the actual segway but you can't go very far with it in general and it's a big thing and it doesn't go fast the whole point of having like an e-step is that you can travel distance with a nice speed now i have two scooters the one that i can sit on which goes 23 kilometers an hour and it goes like 10 or 15 distance but the one that i have now has mode so 15 minutes drive go 65 kilometers will go drive which goes between 20 and 25 and then support which is blessed so which takes up very good at 32 kilometers an hour um, yet the one is a very very good brand nine but which is a highly known brand worldwide nope they don't get here because if you want to get a step that is like you have to fork out eighteen hundred dollars, which is goddamn ridiculous. I, look, I have that money for that, but why would I want to spend eighteen hundred dollars to get something as legally allowed on the road when I can literally buy it for four five hundred bucks? Well, what's the, what's the point? Because there's another catch: you've got to be at least sixteen to drive with them. You've got to have a license, and you've got to actually have a license. Nonetheless, you've got to either have a car license or a bike license, which is ridiculous. It's an e-step. So that means that when you have an electric bike, then you need a license for that as well. And it's very, very weird in this country. But, um, and you've also got to have a license on the back of the thing. Because it gets seen as a scooter here, which it really isn't. I don't know how they get it, but and you've also got the insured, which isn't a bad thing, but then why do you have to insure that? And you don't have to necessarily insure legally by law a bike, a bicycle. Very odd. So um, I have seen someone drive with one of them, but I'm sorry, but I'm not spending two grand almost on a thing that is made in China for 200 bucks when it has literally the same speed specs and options as ones that are six seven hundred dollars which are just as safe or even more safe because mine is very safe there wouldn't be a reason for it not to be allowed on the road and that is my neighbor that just came back from work this is a very clumsy video but i suppose you can say wow you can very professional i know i kind of had to make this video a, a little bit fast because i didn't want to upload tonight so i had to wake up very early this morning but he drives an a4 i think it's from his company they got taken over by a millionaire from america which is cool um ironic elections the, and then talking about a guy who owns company blah blah but um, yeah so whenever i go on my e-step i've just got to be careful because there's a catch yeah. police aren't legally allowed to confiscate it unless they actually see you driving on it so i could be walking with it but as soon as i get on and i drive with it then they are allowed to confiscate it if they do that before i even get on or if even get on it they, they're not allowed to because if they do it well good luck man you're getting sued like really it does happen yeah but then as a copy breaking the law because you are only legally allowed to confiscate it when you see someone physically going forward with it. It doesn't matter if I got it on a public road, then if I'm walking with it, I'm allowed to do that. But 
as soon as I go, then you're allowed to do it. Obviously, it's not the cop's fault. However, I don't understand as a cop why you're wasting your time bullying innocent people on an Easter when there are people committing big, big crimes. Then nothing does, you know, okay, that's my opinion. But any, everyone that owns Easter and watches my videos and lives in the Netherlands, I know how you feel. It's very frustrating because whenever a cop passes by, I've, I have to get off the thing and just act like it's, like I'm not used to it because it's very irritating. And I know the law is law, but my man, if a Tesla is allowed, if an electric bike is allowed, an electric scooter, why shouldn't a E-step be allowed? At least the ones that are safe to go on the road. I'm not talking about the ones that you can get from AliExpress for 50 bucks. Those are not supposed to be bought by people. Those are very unsafe. I recommend you if you get an E-step, you want a good reliable one, you have, you're going to have to spend a couple of hundred bucks for a good one. I spent 800 bucks on mine, but it's really good. It's also got cruise control seen it. 